The future can be predicted only if we work towards it. It's created by a chosen few who dream big and dare to make it possible. It takes a visionary to see the future and scripting it calls for extraordinary abilities. Here is an inspiring story of a man who saw tomorrow and went a step further to make it happen, changing the lives of millions from all walks of life, unfolding the legend of Dr. Prabhakar Kore. Dr. Prabhakar Kore was born in a remote village of Ankli belonging to Chikodi Taluka of Belagavi. Little did anyone know that his little eyes would one day envision a tomorrow that will change the course of time. His father, Sri Basava Prabhu Kori, was a freedom fighter, a prosperous businessman and an agriculturist. A philanthropist at heart, his traditional belief was Atiti Devo Bhava, the guest is like God. So, he made sure that all guests had food in his home. Basava Prabhu was an ardent devotee of Lord Shiva and the family visited Pandrapur or Gokarna at least twice a year. His mother, Srimati Sharada Kori, hailed from a prominent family in Raibagh. She was more than a wonderful homemaker. She not only supported her husband in all respects, but also inspired Prabhakar and his siblings to study well and succeed in life. The village of Ankali gifted little Prabhakar all the simple pleasures of life. Right from strolling in the sugarcane fields to eating freshly cooked Jowar Bhakri to bathing in the Krishna river nearby to playing tourniquet. He enjoyed every moment to the fullest. As a child, young Prabhakar loved cinema and film music. Young Prabhakar and his friends often vied for the publicity job of holding banners of the movies and announcing the show details to the public. In return, they were allowed to watch the movie free of cost. Vacations were the time when he used to lend a helping hand in the fields, just like other kids in the village. Back in those days, the village of Ankali had no proper schooling facilities. Children in Ankali were deprived of a bright future and someone had to stand up for their common cause. The reality motivated Prabhakar's Kannada-speaking father, Sri Basava Prabhu Kori, to set up a Marathi medium school in 1946. Since Marathi was the script used for accounts, he thought learning this language would be more beneficial. Over a period of time, the school evolved into the first high school in Ankali. Basava Prabhu even enrolled young Prabhakar in the same school. The school was small but provided quality education to all. No matter who you are, a son of a zamindar or a farmer or a worker, the school treated everyone equally. All students, including young Prabhakar, used to clean their respective classrooms daily before school begins and sit on the mud floor to learn. At home, Prabhakar's parents were strict and followed a disciplined routine. All followed the 9 p.m. curfew rule. No moving out or getting inside the house after 9 p.m. However, the doors of the house were always open for saints and mendicants. Prabhakar used to listen to them with rapt attention. Prabhakar continued his education in the school at Ankali till 7th grade. He switched to KLE's GA High School, Belgaum from 8th grade onwards. The simple lad savoured his first share of city life, far from the familiar, rustic surroundings of Ankali. He stayed as a paying guest at Camp Belgaum. 
In 1963, Prabhakar's father passed away due to a heart attack. That Prabhakar would stay back in Ankali to take care of their mother. After finishing his high school, Prabhakar headed to Godke College of Commerce in Belgavi to pursue his further studies. Over here, he set foot on a journey which went on to define him and the world for others around him. But young Prabhakar was highly motivated and gathered enough courage to make it possible. Courage, hope and determination helped him blend seamlessly in the new surroundings. Within a short span of time, he found company for his thoughts and fun times. The trio of newly made friends, Anand Sharaf, Manmohan Pai and Ajit Herwatkar would go on to play a defining role in his life. Their friendship was cemented with the enthusiasm of youth and three common interests, movies, books and politics. Chai Pecharchas along with Samosas soon became the order of the day. Politics was always Prabhakar's favorite subject for discussion. He was an avid reader of newspapers and always made it a point to keep himself up to date with current affairs. One day, he sneaked inside the principal's cabin and sat down in his chair. On finding him sitting in his place, the principal got furious. Prabhakar coolly got up and left the room saying, I just wanted to see what it felt like. Activities at the Kannada Sangha spurred the leader in him into action. His newly acquired traits coupled with his inclination towards politics transformed him into a thoroughbred student leader. It was just a matter of time for him to make the switch from a popular student leader to the leader of the masses. The year was 1966 and the occasion the election of the General Secretary of Gogde College. Ajit Herwadkar, a former GS, filed his nomination and so did Prabhakar. It seemed like a battle between the Marathi and Kannada-speaking fronts with two friends pitched against each other. But what happened behind the scenes was a friendly affair. The front was pre-planned to avoid other competition. In secret conversations between friends, they agreed that Prabhakar would be the GS since Ajit had already been the GS earlier. The tactical ruse took everyone by surprise. Ajit conceded the election and Prabhakar was elected unopposed. For the first time in the history of Gogte College, a pro Kannada candidate was elected as the General Secretary. But it had never been a battle between linguistic affinities. It was just a pact between friends. It is an art that Prabhakar inculcated at an early age. Subtle politics was at play and a leader was born. Right from standing up for student issues to planning an elaborate Bharat Darshan trip, Prabhakar managed it all with conviction and confidence. Another important instance that changed his life was a trip to Japan to attend the famous expo held in Osaka. This was followed by visits to Hong Kong, Manila and Singapore. The technological advancements of Japan in textiles and electronics left a deep impression on Prabhakar's mind. On his return, he received a hero's welcome as he was the first person from his village to travel abroad. Addressing a crowd of at least 4,000 people for the first time, he shared his wonderful experience and vowed to make Ankali as progressive as Osaka and other developed cities that he had visited. Prabhakar was the first among his four brothers and three sisters to hold a graduate degree. 
After his graduation, he enrolled for a course in law at Mumbai, erstwhile Bombay. Young Prabhakar immensely valued the potential of education and the role it plays in shaping one's future. His ultimate ambition was to do a master's in management from USA. But fate had other plans in store for him. His family urged him to return to Ankali to take up business responsibilities. He obliged but with a deep regret that he couldn't pursue the education which he greatly valued. Year 1973 saw yet another major milestone in Prabhakar's life. He tied the knot with Asha Kotavale, a BSc graduate from Ferguson College, Pune. She belonged to a typical well-educated middle-class family from Pune and was the only daughter among the seven siblings in her family. Initially, she had refused the marriage on account of apprehensions over moving to village life. But Prabhakar was not the one to take no for an answer. He found his way through Dr. Jirge, the founder dean of JNMC, who was a close friend of Asha's family. His vote of confidence turned things in Prabhakar's favor and finally, Asha relented. Prabhakar greatly valued Asha's educational background and was confident that she would be an asset for his family. Over 50,000 people attended the grand wedding as the daughter-in-law was warmly welcomed to Ankali. It was not just a marriage between two families, but of one family and an entire village. Being a caring and loving wife, Asha instantly blended with Prabhakar's family members and brought in a fresh wave of happiness. She was instrumental in transforming Prabhakar from an angry young man to a calm and composed individual. Prabhakar was insistent upon having a single child. When their first daughter, Preeti, was born, his joy knew no bounds. It was upon Asha's insistence that the couple went to be parents to two more siblings, daughter Deepthi and son Amit. In 1977, Prabhakar Kori shifted to Tilakwadi at Belgaum to ensure that his kids have access to modern education. But periodic trips to Ankali continued to ensure focus on family values, culture and tradition. At that time, young Prabhakar was engrossed in his family life and managing multiple family businesses along with his brothers. The list included a newly set up cooperative sugar factory, jaggery business, a cloth store and a transport business. Additionally, he was also managing his family owned 300 plus acres of land which was given on lease. Although Prabhakar was not directly involved in politics, he continued to support his brothers in elections to the Board of Management of the Karnatak Lingayat Education Society, also known as KLE Society, and the Cooperative Sugar Factories. On the personal front, he got involved in the activities of the Ankadi Education Society. In 1974, he became the secretary of this organization, which was established by his father in 1947. In 1981, tragedy struck Prabhakar's family once again. His elder brother, Chidananda Kori, passed away due to a heart attack. At this point of time, he was the chairman of Kaili Society. Chidanand had been the cornerstone of Prabhakar's life since their father passed away in 1963. In those days, Ankali had very basic medical facilities. His brother passed away due to lack of life-saving medical facilities. Prabhakar was shattered. That's the time he vowed to himself, this should never happen to anyone again. Chidanand Kauri's demise left a void in the board of management of the Karnatak Lingayat Education Society. 
Belagavi, an organization which had been engaged in providing quality education since 1916. As fate would have it, Prabhakar stepped in and joined the board as a director through the by-elections. Being the youngest member of the board, he barely stood a chance to play the lead role. His first assignment was a challenging one. Kaili Society's Nijlingappa Arts College in Bengaluru was in trouble. The college was in complete disharmony with frequent fights between the students and teachers and even infighting among groups. After understanding the ground realities, he took a couple of tough decisions. A troublemaking professor was fired and the decision to shut down the night college due to unruly student behavior was announced. The students pleaded with Prabhakar and promised him their cooperation. In just three months, the college was totally transformed. Prabhakar's first achievement won him a lot of appreciation and accolades. He managed to step up to the position of chairman of Kaili Society, a responsibility which he holds till date. Through his work ethics and ability to inspire people, he won both praise and trust among the members. His style of working was different and his thinking was way ahead of his predecessors. Prabhakar's chairmanship was not confined to his cabin. His decisions were made accurately after connecting to the people at the grassroots level. He took pride in being a full-time chairman of KLE Society. Back then, KLE Society had 38 educational institutions under its fold. Under Prabhakar's chairmanship, KLE Society today has over 309 institutions and two universities. KLE Academy of Higher Education at Belagavi and KLE Technological University at Hubali and provides quality education to over 1,38,000 students from all walks of life. Dr. Prabhakar Kore engineered the meteoric rise of Kaili society with his passion to serve the society with honesty, sincerity and a never give up attitude. Within a span of 40 years, Kaili society has made its indelible mark across school, collegiate, professional, technical, health sciences, agriculture and vocational education. The revolution did not stop here. Prabhakar found one such moment when his daughter had a severe toothache and to his surprise, he could not find a satisfactory treatment option at Belgaum and had to go all the way to Hubali for the same. That's when he resolved to take the first step. Beating all odds against him, he went on to start a dental college with a state-of-the-art setup at Belagavi. The success of this venture further ignited his passion to achieve more. Earlier, he lost his elder brother and father due to lack of proper medical facilities. The time was just right to fulfill the promise he had made to himself. With the vision to bring modern yet affordable healthcare to the Thai II city, Belagavi, Dr. Prabhakar Kore spearheaded the establishment of Kaili Society's hospital at Belagavi. He traveled extensively across Europe and the US to study healthcare setups and equipment. He brought in the best of doctors, modern equipment, and established a state of the art infrastructure. In the beginning, everyone called it White Elephant. It was just too big for a place like Belagavi. But Prabhakar never gave up. In fact, the criticism around motivated him to emerge stronger as a leader. And finally, after humongous efforts, the 1,000-bed hospital saw the light of the day. Today, KLE has a combined healthcare capacity of over 4,000 beds across Belagavi, Hubali, Pune, Chikodi, Gokak, and Ankola. 
These include 1,700 charitable beds for the poor and the needy. In 2006, Dr. Corey suffered a major attack on his life. On his insistence, he was taken to the same hospital that he had established at Belagavi. He stood precariously on the brink of life and death as the entire Kaylee family made days of nights at the hospital to ensure his recovery. With sheer determination and prayers of his well-wishers, he emerged from the mishap with a greater resolve. Since then, he has lived with the bullet still inside him, but has never looked back or slowed down. He calls this incident as his rebirth and is sparing no effort to make best use of every moment that unfolds. The incident left the entire state of Karnataka in shock and politicians across party lines expressed their concern and personally visited him. Despite being a political opponent, the Chief Minister Sri Kumaraswamy presented Rajyotsava Award to Dr. Kore. His brainchild, the Kaylee JNMC Women and Children's Health Research Unit, is today a WHO recognized collaborating center engaged in path breaking research in reducing deaths and disabilities among mothers and children in the low income strata. The research outcomes have defined public health notices and have positively impacted the lives of thousands across the globe. Dr. Kore established KLE Society's School of Agricultural Training and Research in 1999 to train farmers' children in agricultural technology and modern farming methods. He set up the ICAR KLE Krishi Vigyan Kendra. The center conducts field trials, provides advisories through digital media, provides training for dairy, beekeeping and other allied disciplines and facilitates the sale of produce. A farmer's hostel that can accommodate over 100 farmers at a time is being built at KVK premises with funding of rupees 2 crores over and above the Government of India's funding. 10,000 farmers are supported with soil and water testing services. They also get seeds, fertilizers, seedlings and foliar spray on credit from Kisan Bazaar of Chidanand Kore Sugar Factory. Dr. Prabhakar Kore's untiring and persistent efforts over 25 years ensured that this Government of Karnataka project worth Rs. 37 crores saw the light of the day. Nammura Bandhara provides irrigation facilities to over 50,000 acres in Diggewadi, Bhavana Savadatti, Naslapura, Manjari, Ankali, Kallor and other nearby villages. Progressive farmers from Eli Munavalli, Hukeri and nearby villages who were severely affected by drought in 2017 came up to adopt high-tech drip irrigation and Israel-style farming. But several nationalized banks refused loans for the project. So, the farmers approached Dr. Kore. He ensured that the farmers got the loan through the corporate guarantee of Shiva Shakti Sugar Factory. The project got completed in 2022 and is highly beneficial to the farmers in the region. He has also played a very important role in the establishment and development of Rani Chennamma Mahila Cooperative Bank which is growing in stature, in leaps and bounds. The bank lays special emphasis upon financing women entrepreneurs. He is also an ardent patron of K. Lee Swashakti Women Empowerment Cell, which is engaged in addressing issues pertaining to gender discrimination and other aspects both within and beyond K. Lee. To empower the girls from the lower economic strata of the society, 
Dr. Kore is providing free education to one girl child of Group C and D employees. He has ensured establishment of girls' hostel with free accommodation and food at Belagavi for girls belonging to Virashaiva Lingayat community from rural areas of Karnataka to pursue higher education. World-class sports facilities are established and free education with training and diet support is provided to budding sports persons in Kaili Society's institutions. Kalo India Centre A Government of India initiative is allotted at Kahir to train in athletics, swimming and judo. Collaboration with legendary cricketer Anil Kumble's Tenvik to develop a sporting culture among children and groom kids with potential into successful sports persons. These initiatives and support have led the youth to excel in sports by representing India at the Olympics, World Championships, Mini World Football Championships, winning several prizes. Dr. Prabhakar Kore is a connoisseur of art and culture. He has always been a pillar of support for initiatives in the field of music, literature, theatre and other performing arts by providing them the platform and nurturing the artists. Dr. Kore was instrumental in setting up the KLE School of Music, befittingly inaugurated by late Padma Vibhushan Srimati Gangubai Hangal. Two community radio stations, KLE Dhwani, Hubali, and Venu Dhwani Pelagavi, are the platforms for budding artists of North Karnataka to showcase their talents. Dr. Kori set up a publishing division, Prasaranga, which, besides effectively documenting the journey of KLE society, also facilitates budding authors to get their works published. Dr. Prabhakar Kori has collaborated with poets, authors and theatre artists late Sri Chennavira Kanvi, late Sri G.S. Shivarudrappa, Nyanapit awardee Dr. Chandrasekhar Kambar, late Sri Patil Puttappa, late Sri Yenagi Balappa, national award winning actors late Sunil Dutt, Naziruddin Shah, Anupam Kher, Baman Irani, Shabana Azmi on various occasions by hosting their plays and felicitating them. Dr. Corey's fascination for movies from his childhood eventually led to the building of Mayur Theatre. He has interacted with well-known Kannada actors Jay Prada, Raghavendra Rajkumar, late Vishnuvardhan and Bharati, Jayamala, National Award-winning director Nagati Halli Chandrasekhar and Bollywood actors Amitabh Bachchan, Madhuri Dixit, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan, Kareena Kapoor, well-known musician Shankar Mahadevan, Vijay Prakash and several others. The language Kannada, the art, the culture and the traditions of the state of Karnataka find a special place in the life and thoughts of Dr. Kori. Dr. Kori has been at the forefront in preserving and nurturing Kannada language in the border areas of the state. He has set up several Kannada medium schools at Nippani, Ankali, Athini, Yadra, Keru. He has been a pillar of support in organizing Kannada Sahitya Sammelanas. Dr. Kore was the driving force behind organization of the Vishwa Kannada Sammelana at Belagavi in 2011. Thousands of people from the state, the rest of India and even abroad, including a stellar list of prominent political personalities, industrialists, literateurs, artists and people from all walks of life converged upon the venues and the streets of Belagavi to celebrate the glory of the rich culture tradition, literature, folk art and history of Karnataka. Dr. Kore played a major role in the establishment of Kannada Bhavan Rangamandira in Belagavi. 
he was awarded the Kingal Hanumantaya Dati Prashasti Award in recognition of his yeoman service towards nurturing Kannada language. Dr. Kori always envisioned himself to be a people's man. Protecting the interests of the common man was his first priority. His iconic contributions towards Karnataka's cooperative movement in border regions of Maharashtra and Karnataka bear testimony to his selfless contributions for the betterment of the society. He led by example by modernizing the cooperative sugar factory that continues to benefit all its members till date. He also set up a state-of-the-art factory, Shiva Shakti Sugars at Ankli Raibagh Road, Karnataka. His contributions as the director of All India Sugar Factories, New Delhi, not only created a paradigm shift in cooperative businesses, but also helped him win the trust and appreciation of eminent leaders as well as the beneficiaries of the cooperative movement. The cooperative movement wasn't restricted to sugar alone. Dr. Corey continues to be the pillar of confidence for several cooperative banks launched by him as they continue to earn the trust of their investors and stakeholders. Politics was Dr. Corey's first love. As a college student, he discovered his inclination to politics and understood its significance in shaping the nation's tomorrow. Under the guidance of Sri S. Nijalingappa, the first Chief Minister of Unified Karnataka, whom Dr. Kore considers as his political guru, he made rapid and purposeful strides in his political journey. He has served three terms as a member of the Rajya Sabha. Dr. Prabhakar Kore has been a part of several parliamentary committees and an active contributor in each one of them. He has also been an official member of several international delegations, each opening up new learning experiences and inspirations for him. He has served as a member of Karnataka Legislative Council from 2001 to 2007. He played a pivotal role in making Belagavi the second capital of Karnataka after Bengaluru. It started off with the conduct of two winter sessions of the Karnataka Legislative Assembly being held at Kaili JN Medical College campus, Belagavi. Dr. Kori was even bestowed the honor of chairing one of the sessions as a token of appreciation for his contributions to the event. The sessions brought generous focus upon the needs of the North Karnataka region and he was able to persuade the polity to make it an annual event over a period of time. This move eventually paid for the way of Suvarna Vidhan Sauda in Belagavi. Dr. Kori's illustrious political career is dotted with several significant milestones in the regional and national front. Honorable Presidents and Vice Presidents of India, Sri Gyani Zail Singh, Dr. Shankar Dayal Sharma, Sri Muhammad Hamid Ansari, Sri APJ Abdul Kalam, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, Sri M. Venkaya Naidu, Honorable Prime Ministers of India, Sri Rajiv Gandhi, Sri P.V. Narsimha Rao, Sri H.D. Devi Gowda, Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee, Sri Manmohan Singh, Sri Narendra Modi, Honorable Ministers of the Union Cabinet, Sri Gulam Nabi Azad, Sri Anand Kumar, Sri Manohar Parikar, Sri Arun Jaitley, Sri Nitin Gadkari, Sri Rajnath Singh, Sri Mati Maneka Gandhi, Dr. Harsh Vardhan, Sri Amit Shah, Sri Prahlad Joshi, Sri Dharmendra Pradhan, Sri Anurag Thakur, Sri Rajyavardhan Singh Rathod, Sri Sharad Pawar, Sri Mati Sonia Gandhi, Honorable Governors of various states, Sri Mati V.S. Ramadevi, Sri T.N. Chaturvedi, 
श्री हंसराज भारद्वाज श्री डी वाई पाटिल श्रीमती मृदुला सिन्हा ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ कर्नाटका श्री रामकृष्ण हेगडे एंड श्री एस आर बुम्बाई श्री वीरेंद्र पाटिल श्री एस बंगारप्पा श्री जे एच पटेल श्री एस एन कृष्णा श्री धरम सिंह श्री एच डी कुमार स्वामी श्री बी एस येडियुरप्पा श्री डी वी सदानंद गौडा श्री जगदीश शेट्टर श्री बसवराज बम्बाई चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश श्री वाई एस राजशेखर रेड्डी चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र श्री देवेंद्र फडनवीस डॉक्टर प्रभाकर कोरे इज प्रिवलेज टू मीट मिस्टर डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका मिस कैथलिन सिबिलियस सेक्रेटरी हेल्थ यूएसए चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ जनरल बिपिन रावत प्रोमिनेंट इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट श्री रतन टाटा श्री एन आर नारायण मूर्ति श्रीमती सुधा मूर्ति स्पिरिचुअल लीडर्स हिज होलीनेस श्री सिद्धेश्वर स्वामी जी जैन मुनि तरुण असगरी महाराज साहेब बाबा रामदेव सदगुरु जग्गी वासुदेव श्री डी वीरेंद्र हेगड़े जगत गुरु शंकराचार्य श्री 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 भारती तीर्थ महास्वामी जी वेल नोन साइंटिस्ट श्री ए एस किरण कुमार चेयरमैन इसरो भारत रत्न प्रोफेसर सी एन आर राव द मोस्ट नोट वर्दी फीचर ऑफ डॉक्टर कोरेज वर्क इज द फोकस ऑन पीपल इन द विलेजेस एंड द इश्यूज testimony to this is the fact that over 50% of the institutions of kali are in rural locations most of these institutions do not even make economic sense since they don't even break even but he continues his life's mission of making sure that his people are not isolated from the rest of the world and the best of the world Dr Prabhakar Kore's extraordinary contributions across disciplines have earned him a long and enviable list of awards and recognitions. He received his first honorary doctorate by the Karnataka University Darwad in 2008. The Rani Chennamma University Belagavi awarded him his second honorary doctorate in February 2013. Dr Kore established the USM Kale International Medical Program a one of its kind college for medical education for the students from Malaysia at the Kale campus in Belagavi Recognizing his noteworthy contributions as an educationist University Saints Malaysia conferred upon him an honorary doctorate in education in 2015 He is the only second Indian after Bharat Ratna Dr APJ Abdul Kalam to receive this rare honor. In May 2022, Thomas Jefferson University Philadelphia USA conferred the Doctor of Science Honoris Causa upon Dr Kore. This was for his contribution to medical education and global research in maternal and newborn health. He is the first Indian to be thus honored by TJU. Dr. Kore's passion for upscaling the TJU Kale partnership has also resulted in the establishment of the India Center at Thomas Jefferson University. He has been a proud recipient of several awards and recognitions spanning across disciplines and divides. The list is virtually endless and the achievements indeed are a class apart. But this doesn't stop the living legend from dreaming bigger and moving ahead. So young man, what did you learn from this book? 
Sir, if we really want to see a bright tomorrow, we must constantly pursue our dreams with determination. But remember three things, never stop dreaming, we never stop learning and most important, never stop moving ahead. Yes, sir. Good. Unstoppable at 75, Dr. Prabhakar is as optimistic as ever to unfold a new tomorrow that each one of us will be proud of. Today, we take pride in celebrating the diamond anniversary of a true diamond of India. The man who saw tomorrow, Dr. Prabhakar Kori, celebrating 75 years and beyond.